The second day in a row, Slossfest had been delayed by severe weather today. Performances stopped. Fans told there would be an extended delay. CBS 42 News reporter James McConaughey was there tonight speaking with fans who, for some, had a damper on their expectations. James? Yeah, that's right, Jack. Mother Nature put on a show stopping performance, and fans told me they were disappointed but hopeful that the festival would go on. Just such a buzzkill, you know? We all came to Alabama trying to have a good time. And this is what we end up with. As thunderstorms rolled into Birmingham, music fans at Sloss Fest were told to shelter in place. But that advisory quickly turned into an extended delay. It's kind of a bum. Yeah, I know. I mean, we can't predict weather, but I mean, we want Sloss Fest. It's been like very sad because we paid a lot of money for this. The Alabama Emergency Management Agency has had staff on site all weekend. And the director told me that Sloss Fest management was doing a very good job of keeping festival goers safe. As the rains got heavy, many decided to head home early or at least wait out the delay off site. We're going to go somewhere to eat maybe because we're really hungry, but we're going to probably come back because yesterday they said it was canceled, but it really wasn't canceled. So we're going to come back and try it again later. Hopefully they'll let us in. Some fans shouted they wanted refunds on the way out, but others said no matter what happens, they already had a great time at the festival. Yeah, we saw a good bit of music. It was yeah. really great. Um, the stages are awesome, and yes. there's a bunch of people and things to do. So it's definitely more than just a typical music festival. Now the festival did finally continue about 9.15 p.m. and an updated performance schedule was published by Sloss Fest. Live in the studio, James McConaughey, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.